those are my three females. I just cleaned their cage and removed the male. He's up here all by himself because my white female right there, she is getting really big and she looks like she could just, you know, she may have like a week or two more. And then she's going to have her babies. And I'm pretty sure that the rest of them are pregnant too. Because all three of them have been getting fatter. So. We should expect babies too. And, you know, I just put them up there. Because that's perfect for one mouse by itself. I don't care if there's not a wheel or anything in there. Put a tube in there and that's all he really needs. Because guess what? They're feeder mice. They're not my pet mice. I'm not breeding them for a pet store. I'm breeding them for food. So, they can go crazy. You know? I'm not putting a squeaky wheel in there. I'm not going to go spend a lot of money for them. As you can see, their food dishes and water dishes, their bowls, are. I use their bedding is the same bedding that I use for my parrots. Should I put in there is for their nesting material? It's stuff I would have thrown away. I don't care. All I care about is them having babies, not eating their babies. That's why I make sure they have plenty of food and water. And that each three, there's a little tube over here, a big tube and a box, had their own place to nest. So they have their own babies. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I also removed the male because um, on the base of his tail, I see little bite marks. Which means that the females are attacking him. Which means that most likely they are all pregnant because they're all attacking him. Which they normally do to a male when they're pregnant already. So I just removed him. And once, once he's needed again, they will welcome him again. And um, the process will be repeated. I gave them like a little brown bag I ripped up so that they could use as nesting material. There's my big mama checking out all the places. And I have water bottles that I could put in there, but I prefer the um, little bowls. Because mice tend to chew on water bottles that are in there, and rats, because I bred rats, and this is what I've encountered. And I don't have a non-chewable one. I can buy one, but like I said, I'm not going to buy anything for them. They're mice. Um, they do have food here. It's a hamster and gerbil formula. It's Nutrafase Gold. But that was from, I had that from a, a previous pet so I just kind of kept it and now they are using it they eat that and dog food because it's just, like I said I'm not going to buy anything for them to wear their teeth down and dog food is so hard that when they're chewing on it and stuff like some of those pieces in there in their food that it knocks their teeth down for them a little bit Oh, and I don't have a water bottle because I don't want them climbing up there and trying to chew through my wooden little thing that my husband made at the top. Because I would get pissed off. I don't like mice. I love rats. I love breeding rats. Mice stink. They're real finicky. They have lots of high tendencies to eat their babies. Oh, but, um... Like I said, I don't care. I'm just doing it for my ferrets. They're cute. None of them have names. Because none of them need names. They at one time will become food themselves. So, you know, like if they eat their babies, I'm not going to try to breed them again. They're going to be straight food and I'm going to start over. So, I mean, I think a pet mouse deserves a name. But 
feeder mice. Their name is food. Food for whatever animal you're feeding them to. Now I'm just saying all this because I don't want any comments like, oh, you need this or you need to do that. This is not good for mice. This is blah, blah, blah. I'm not breeding them because I like them. I'm breeding them because it's cheaper on me. I don't have to go back and forth to the pet store to buy food for them, uh, food for my hurts. I don't have to, you know, keep going back and getting the mice, getting the mice. Having fun already. Just tearing up the box. But um, yesterday, all the females were making. They were nesting like crazy. They were trying to build nests and stuff, and fighting with the male. Like if he came near them where they were making their nest, they would fight with them. So I pulled him out. Put him up in his own little apartment, and I let his wives, his little females, have their own little gigantic house. They got the house, he's got the apartment. And that's just this little update. And the next update will be probably when they're, they all look like they're about to pop. And, um,. And then, you know, if there's any babies, hopefully there is, soon. Ferrets are getting finicky. The puppy keeps trying to <laughs> lick them through the cage, and then the ferrets are trying to attack him while he's doing this. And Vivian actually got his tongue. So I gotta keep an eye on the puppy more. <laughs> like, I was so scared she had that she had a, a really good grip on him. But, um... She didn't. She just had the tip. And he was like crying like crazy. And so. And I missed my trash right here. <laughs> this was breakfast. I just put it up there right. Because I got distracted by cleaning the the mouse cage. And that's a small update on my mice. My feet of mice. If you have any suggestions, um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, just put them down there. They only are in the comments or video response, whatever. Whatever works for you. They seem to be enjoying it now. There's more places to hide, more places to build nests. Um, I do have an igloo from when I worked at the pet store and I was breeding hamsters. Like, it's pink. But if I put that in there, I don't know. There's three mice. If I put it in there, I don't want, I don't want to take up so much room. It's, it's the small one. It's not the teeny tiny one. But it's like the medium sized one because, um, like, I was breeding teddy bear hamsters and those ones aren't teeny tiny. So it was enough room for the mom and her litter. And these guys are kind of small. They, they might think, oh my goodness, it's a hotel. And I just want them to have their own little spaces. For their own, for I don't want anybody eating other people's babies, fighting, kidnapping. I don't, I don't want any of that. All right, let me go. Bye.